Ah, yes. So, here I was explaining this uh, sixth uh, condition. So, what is uh, given here is if the mortal is uh, living, uh, if the mo no mortal lives more than 150 years. For example, if the mortal was uh, born in uh, 1570 year and then now it's 2023, what I will try to do is I will calculate whether these values uh, is less than, the, I will subtract these two values and I will check whether this is uh, greater than 150. If it is greater than 150, then I will indicate that the mortal is dead. Correct. So, I will do that same thing. I will just change the orientation. So, that is what uh, it's indicated here. For all T1, comma T2, that is the birth year and the present year. So, the born, mortal X, born in, X was born in T1 and if it is greater than T2 minus T1 is greater than one, 150 years, then it indicates that he is dead. So, X is dead in T2. So, X is dead in T2. That is how it is indicated. And uh, now we have uh, one more condition that is now, is now 1991. It in indicates that we are assigning the value now is equal to 1991. And uh, yeah. So, next. Alive means not dead. This is one more condition given. Alive means not dead here. For all uh, X comma T, if uh, the person X is uh, not, uh, if X is alive, then he is not dead. And if the person is not dead, then it indicates that alive. He is alive. If the alive means he is not dead, of course, correct? So if they dies, if someone dies in, uh, if they dies, then he is dead at all the later times. For example, if the person is died at seven uh, one five seven zero, if I check in twenty twenty three, this uh, this year is uh, greater than this one, correct? So if it is greater than this year, then I can say that the person is dead. So, I will check the the person is dead in T1 for all x T1 comma T2. Uh, if the person is dead in uh, T, uh, T1, then if the T2 is greater than T1, that indicates that person is dead. Okay, so what, what now what we need to prove is, we need to prove that Marcus is dead now. So, we need to prove Marcus is dead. How can we prove that? So, consider first we will assume that Marcus is not alive. With the help of equation number 8, we can say that Marcus is not, uh, Marcus is dead. Correct. So, with the help of equation number 9, so with the help of equation number 9, so I can say that if uh, he is dead, that means he is died in T1 and he, that time is greater than now comma T1. Okay. So, now uh, Marcus now that is x is uh, t x is uh, marcus and now is t2 wherever t is the t2 is there i need to replace that with the now and t1 i should replace as it is so died x comma t1 and greater than now comma t2 now comma t1 so now with the help of equation number 5 i can say that pompians died when x comma 79 so i can replace that uh, t2 they were pompians so i will replace this marcus uh, they were pompians so pompians of x and they were died when it was 79 AD. So, I can replace that uh, time by the 79 AD. So, now, uh, so since both the equations are correct, I can take this equation. So, I can re I can remove this equation since it's a correct equation or this is a true. I can say that this condition is also true. I can consider only this one. So, now I have got uh, greater than now comma 79. With the help of equation number 7, we can say that now is 1991. So, greater than 1991 comma 79. So, since it's a uh, this value is true, we can say that we got a nil. So, if it is nil means the question is solved. That means Marcus is not alive is true. So, if it is nil, that indicates that the question is solved. That means Marcus is not alive. Marcus is not alive means Marcus is dead. So, we, we are going from the back propagation. First, we will assign, assume that the given condition is true and we will solve and we will try to get the solution. And the next concept is resolution. Here, resolution, what we need to do, they will give the axioms. We need to convert that to the clause form and we need to uh, prove the given condition. What we need to do, uh, so here we need to convert this uh, given condition and we need to convert that to the clause form and uh, we need to prove that R is true. Okay. So, first, let's see how to convert uh, this value uh, to the uh, clause form. So, yeah. Converting it to the clause form, it indicates that we need to remove this implies. How can we remove that implies? So, if uh, P implies Q, implies R is there, how can we write that not of P or R? That is how it is there. So, here P we will write as it is and P and Q implies R. How can we replace that with the, uh, uh, that with this without implication means 
apply not here and write all here so how can we change that not of p is nothing but not of q and uh, and is nothing but or and q is nothing but not of q and v is not or is nothing but or and r is nothing but r i hope this is uh, clear and now next moving on to the next question that is here uh, yes or t implies q is there so i repeat s yes or t implies q is there first apply not here and write or here so how can we write that yes yes not of yes and not of t or q so we'll just pass this q inside not of yes or q and not of t or q since and is there and is applied for both of this condition i cannot write this outside so i need to enclose that with the brackets that's all so now we have to prove that r is true how can we prove that let's take r is not true so if the condition if this is not solved or if we don't get any solution or if we don't get any proper axioms then we can say that this can this is not uh, true if this is not true then r must be true okay so first we will assign that assume that r is not true contradiction method so first we will assume that the given condition is false and then we will try to assume uh, and then we will try to assign it and then we will try to prove it first let's take r is not true and we will check with whether which axioms is consider contains opposite of this one so in this equation we can say that uh, this equation is opposite of given condition i will write it here r and not r get cancels and now the remaining is not p not q and p so here uh, so this is the condition we got and uh, so we have from the axiom one we have got on p so we can cancel we can write it here and we can cancel p and now the remaining is not q so here uh, not q is nothing but how can we how can we write that here you have not of yes not yes or, uh, or q not q not t or q here you have these two conditions since and is there both must be true i can take only one condition so i will take uh, this one because t is there so i can easily solve it so not t or q and not q q q get cancels so the remaining is not t with the help of axiom phi i can replace that with the t and now i got the third solution that is empty so since i got this solution i can say that this is not uh, this condition is not true that means r not of r is not true that indicates that opposite of this is true that is r is true that is how it is proved and moving on to the next concept that is concept learning here in this concept learning we have two types of algorithm find as algorithm and then candidate al elimination algorithm let's uh, start with the find as algorithm so find as algorithm is only for the positive instance and uh, let's mark uh, which lines is having positive instance these are all the three lines which is having positive instance first here i have one hypothesis hypothesis it's nothing but here we will assign most generalized value so we will consider uh, when he is going to enjoy the sport and when he is not going to enjoy the sport so now first i will assign that with the specific value that is null so i will try to generalize it as much as possible so now i will replace uh, so first i will look the first table row number 1 so since this is a most generalized value so i will replace that 5 with the first row value so in other words we can say that h1 should be assigned with the first row okay so now h2 h2 uh, consider compare these two values okay now uh, will not consider this row final row so consider these two values sunny is sunny warm is warm but normal is getting changed to high sun strong is strong warm is warm same is same so which value is getting changed replace that with the question mark okay now uh, the next instance is third instance here third instance is negative we don't do any changes so we will I'll replace as it is h3 is give assigned by the h2 and the next one is fourth instance fourth instance here is i will just compare with the this one sunny is same warm is warm and question mark is question mark and our strong is strong but warm is getting changed to cool so i will replace warm by question mark and same is getting changed to say change so i will replace that with a question mark so that is it uh, so this is the most generalized hypothesis okay so that is about to find us algorithm and moving on to the uh, candidate elimination algorithm here in this candidate elimination algorithm we have uh, specific hypothesis and general hypothesis specific hypothesis it's uh, whenever the instance is positive we will replace that we will convert that to specific to general whenever the instance is negative we will try to convert this general hypothesis to specific hypothesis so ideally sorry initially we will consider uh, one values that is uh, phi is and then question mark this is most specific and this is most generalized so whenever the value is getting changed we have to change specific to general whenever the value is getting changed we need to change from general to specific 
so now so first instance i will assign that to the s1 so g1 since uh, uh, instance is positive we don't do any changes for g1 so g is for negative instance s is for positive instance okay so now mm -hmm. S2. So here we have sunny warm, but norm is normal is getting changed to high. So I will replace that with the question mark and remaining as it is. So since it's a positive instance, I will not do any mis any changes in the uh, instance uh, G instance. So I will uh, moving on to the next instance that is a uh, third instance. Third instance is negative. So I will replace uh, S3 as it is. I will retain S3 as it is. I will make changes in G3. So what are the changes I will make? Let's look at the table. So this is a third instance which is negative. So here sunny is getting changed to sunny, sorry rainy, warm is getting changed to cold and the same is getting changed to change. How I need to write the general hypothesis is I need to consider this value and remaining question mark. I need to write a three separate general hypothesis replacing the previous value and remaining question mark. Sunny is getting changed to warm, sunny is getting changed to rainy. So I need to write sunny remaining question mark. And warm is getting changed to cold. I need to write uh, remaining question mark and warm. And uh, next last one is same is getting changed to change. I need to write question mark and last one as same. So three, uh, three general hypothesis I need to write. So here I have written three sunny, cold and then same. So yeah sunny, warm and then same. So these are the three instances I have written. And the fourth instance, fourth instance is nothing but sunny, warm, question mark, question, question, storm and warm is getting changed to cool. So I will replace that with a question mark. Same is getting changed to, same is getting changed with the uh, uh, change. So I will replace that with a question mark. There is a mistake, please make sure you note that. And now, uh, so now what you need to do is, so you are, now uh, let's check the general hypothesis. Some value I have, haven't written here. So why I haven't written? So general value it indicates that whenever it is sunny, whenever it is warm, whenever it, the instance is same, at any cost he is going to enjoy the sport. But the value of same is getting changed here. That means this condition is not satisfied. Correct? So we have to change that to, we have to remove from that value. So whenever you have sunny, whenever you have warm, then at any cost he will enjoy the sport. I am not sure about this one because the value is getting changed. So whenever there is a value gets changed in the specific hypothesis, change that value in the general hypothesis also. For example, if the same getting changed to change, then uh, we have to remove that from the general hypothesis. Say for example, if we had another one uh, instance where the strong is getting changed to weak. Here, we don't have any values in the general hypothesis. Then no need to change. Okay. So if we have any other values that is rain and the instance is positive, then what we need to do is we need to remove this sunny from this general hypothesis and we should keep only this one. I hope this is clear and this is about module 2. In the next video, I will cover module 3. Thank you.